a morning walk by Thomas Edward Brown, lie there, I said, my sorrow. Lie thou there, and I will drink the lissom air, and see if yet the heavens have gained their blue. Then rose my sorrow as an aged man, and stared, as such a one will stare, a querulous doubt through tears that freshly ran. Wherefore I said, content. Thou shalt go too. So went. We through the sunlit crocus glade, I and my sorrow, casting shade on all the innocent things that upward pre, and coax for smiles. But, as I went, I bowed, and whispered, be no whit afraid. He will pass sad and gentle as a cloud, it is my sorrow leave him unto me, and every flowery in that happy place yearned up into the weary face with pitying love, and held its golden breath, regardless seeming he, as though within was nothing apt for their sweet grace, nor any sense save such as is akin to charnel glooms and emptiness of death. Then sung a lusty bird, whose throat was clear and strong with elemental cheer, till very heaven seemed lifted with the joy jet after jet tumultuous. Music burst fount like, and filled the expanding sphere, whereat my soul was fain to slake its thirst, intent, and ravished with that blessed employ. The songster ceased articulate as a bell, the rippling echoes fell and fell upon the shore of silence. Then I turned to call upon my sorrow, he was not, but oh, what splendor filled the dell. I there I there I oh, there, upon the very spot where he had been an awful glory burned. It was as though the mouth of God had kissed and purpled into amethyst wan lips, as though red quickening ichor rills had flushed his heart. Twas he no more, no more. Twas she, my soul's evangelist, my rose, my love, and lovelier than. Before, dew nurtured on the far celestial hills. O love, I cried, I come, I come to thee. Stay, stay, but softly, silently, as pales the moon before the assault of day. So, spectral white against the brighter blue, faded my darling. But with me walks never more that shadow. God is true, and God was in that bird, believe it as ye. May.